Hey guys, uh, we just talked about photosynthesis uh, quite a bit. And as you know, there were multiple pigments that plants have. Uh, the main groups that you should be aware of would be the chlorophylls, right? And chlorophylls live in the chloroplast, right? That's easy enough to remember. However, there are plenty of other plant pigments such as carotenoids. And again, carotenoids uh, are kind of a orange, red, and yellow. And a nice little hint to remember your carotenoids would be that beginning of the word carrot, which of course carrots are in fact orange. So, uh, you know, most of the time plants typically look green. However, in the fall, many plants change colors. And of course, the same uh, uh, loosely applies to algae. You have species of green algae and species of red algae, which, which uh, as the name implies, they rely on different pigments. So we're gonna go ahead and extract uh, the pigments from some lettuce, uh, spinach, and somewhere around here, I even have my wife's uh, spearmint. So there you have it, spearmint, lettuce, spinach. Let's go ahead and start grinding these up a little bit, right? So I'm gonna tear them up into little pieces. Hopefully you can all see that. Just cutting and grinding, and I'll be honest, that spearmint is smelling pretty great. Love it. Anything from the mint family, whether it's spearmint, rosemary, thyme, basil. Uh, one of the things you'll get to know about me is I'm a weird plant guy. Uh, so I'm grinding these up, cutting them up, trying to tear them up. Um, it's good to get a, your hands on them, just kind of release the, the liquids. Because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to release and extract these... Uh, pigments do something called chromatography okay so uh, you can see I got stuff in there and I'm kind of doing this quickly since I'm, uh, I'm recording this the next thing we need is a solvent so the solvent here in this case is a little bit of fingernail polish remover which is uh, also known as acetone for you chemists out there so I poured a little fingernail polish remover in there into the mocajete and now I'm just gonna kind of grind then again I'm doing this rather quickly if it was an actual lab situation i'd be a little more uh, uh, time you know consider to that and as i do this the acetone my solvent is going to start getting real real green as i'm grinding and releasing all the wonderful pigments and liquids and cellular uh, materials into this mocajete Now, while I'm doing this, I'll show something else. In the actual lab, I would be using filter paper. Uh, here, since I'm doing this at home, it's the weekend, I gotta be a little creative, I'm kinda like MacGyver. Um, I just cut out a little uh, little bit of a coffee filter. And again, I don't have a beaker, I'm using a regular old glass, okay? So, I guess that's liquidy enough. I guess y'all can see a little bit of that, right? I'm going to pour this in here just so it reaches the uh, bottom part of my coffee filter paper. Okay. Okay, so it is touching. And what's going to happen? We'll come back in an hour.